Welcome to the Navigator podcast, where we embark on a monthly journey to explore topics of our lives and experiences in Canada. I'm your host, Daniela Guevara, an international student from Ecuador. I'm a digital media four-year student, and today I am with my best friend, uh, also Daniela <laughs> from Ecuador, and she is a recent graduate from the education program. So let's just start by introducing yourself, please. So thank you for having me. Uh, I'm Daniela Rodriguez. As you mentioned, I graduated um, this summer, this summer, yeah. And yeah, from education, did my minor in psychology as well. And yeah, happy to be here to share my experience here in Canada. So yeah. Thank you. Well, let's just rewind a little bit so mm -hmm. everyone can know yeah, yeah. about our friendship and Will you mind telling all the public how do we first meet? Okay, so I remember um, start of summer, I think it was 2022. Yes. So mm -hmm. I remember when the international education did the programs. Um, that Coffee around the world? Yep, that same one. I think it was something new. It was something recent and I remember... I was like, well, this should be fun to just get to know people from around the world. And so I obviously wanted to attend. I wanted to see who is going. And obviously I saw Ecuador and I was like, whoa, I'm intrigued. And then uh, I remember the first person I saw was actually our mutual friend, Melissa. And I was like, oh, hi, blah, blah, blah. And I started chatting with her. And then I remember you came a few minutes after. And I was like, oh, hi. And what's your name, Daniela? Oh, I'm also Daniela. And it was like <laughs> that bonding moment of you have the same name. And I was just very drawn to just, wow. Like it was like more Latino. So it was like my moment to be, oh, my, my network is expanding Um, so it was very meaningful. It was a very turning point for me of what friendships in Canada might look like. So it definitely made me feel more at home because obviously I'm using my mother tongue to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing my flag and I'm seeing people that can relate in different experiences from back home. So that was very fulfilling and I was very excited and I was like, oh my God, this might be a very solid friendship I might be um, building. Um, but obviously, you it's new, you it's exciting. So you mm. never know what could happen. Like, But I remember there was also a Spanish girl. Remember? Addis, yeah? Yeah, I think. Was that semester? Yeah, that yeah. was that semester. So We it was dancing. kind of yeah, like different people. And then what I really f um, think that clicked with me with and you was that I saw you were very, like, outgoing in the sense of like let's try these let's do these because you were doing all the dances you were out there you were doing yeah. I was like that's fun and then I remember um there were some girls from Mexico and it was just like you and I kind of bonded over the dance I feel like that's something we connected with and the music and then how we just brought people together and I remember we created that the group chat, the group chat group and group I was chat. like that's that seems like a good idea to just you know because here As an uh, international student, you want to build community and build community with Latinos and people that speak Spanish is so meaningful because you're finally expressing yourself in a language you're familiar with. Um, Culture-wise, humor is <laughs> yes. a complete different thing that it's easier to bond uh, when people understand your humor. And we talk a lot. So it's fun to have those long conversations where yeah. people are just back and forth, back and forth, and it doesn't seem like too You're much, too much. Yeah. right? So I remember that memory, and I was very excited. Um, and I remember that the next, like, we were in touch. I remember, like, yeah. we, we would chat back and forth. Um, But that was, like, the first. Exactly. But I, that was, like, the, the coffee around the world organized by Cultural Connection, Simon, I think. Yeah, for me, also, I really enjoyed that event. Yeah. It was, like, almost a year of me living here. And then mm. just coming and then meeting you, meeting other people. Like, yeah. like, oh, there's actually people that speak my language here, too. Yeah, I which think... it was really easier then to communicate. 
I think than those events for international students are so meaningful because it's about getting out of your comfort zone in the sense of like actually attending and being like, mm -hmm. you don't know who you're, you're going to meet, but realizing once you attend the event, how things can change so rapidly. And you're like, well, I came here alone and now I'm living with a group of friends. Yeah. So I think that's the importance of really like cultural connections or all of those type of events um, led by international education that really make a difference in how we international sure. students experience um, our social life here at BAU and in Canada you know, and I'm in general. So. For sure, yeah. I remember complaining that whole summer before all the events happening, having like, hey, I had a friend from, well, I'm still a friend with her from Japan mm -hmm. and she came with a huge group. So there were like, other 20 students mm -hmm. so I was complaining with her like oh like there's none like students that speak Spanish or no Latinos and then she found our mutual friend Melissa mm. and she told me she's doing this coffee, coffee event you should help her you should mm. really meet her and yeah, talk to yeah. her and That's I'm really wild. glad that I did yeah. that because it was a really good experience yeah and I got to meet you and yeah, all of our other commons friends yeah just yeah, yeah, yeah. That started a big thing. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there an, any other ways you have been doing connections, like apart from the international student events? How will you also make connections here? I feel like in any part of the world, the more things you try, the more of a network you create. So I feel like specifically here in Nanaimo, obviously it's not like a big city um but i feel it's just like going out i feel like it's trying new things um art class fitness class going to a concert um going to the theaters things like that i've realized it helps you in the intellectual and well-being mm -hmm. level but it also gives you the opportunity to explore future connections um but yeah, I feel like mostly um, it's just been, yeah, getting out there. Um, but definitely university has been the main way I've met people, for sure. Like, it's not like I go to a random cafe and I go out and I'm like, oh, I have a best friend. No, yeah. like it's, I think it gives you the more of a experience of okay i'm here and getting to know a new place saying hi and bye but maybe it's a mm -hmm. bit more difficult to actually build a strong connection but you never know it it's it depends but i think like the more you are out there the better it is for you when building connections so just trying different activities um for instance going to the church that we went to that yeah. builds more networking so yeah those and type of how things. do you balance meeting like new people and your academic student well i had a journey itself um i remember my first semester i was all about making friends and mm -hmm. the academic part of it was not that essential um but i was building building friendships going out doing so much stuff which was great mm -hmm. um, but then what happens in every social aspect i believe people drift away and people start to find their own groups and that's totally okay because some people um get along more than, um, others, yeah. than others and that's totally fine i remember i got here and i had such a big group of people and i was like whoa and then as the months went by it kind of like it shaped like everyone went with their so own groups and groups. that's okay like i've realized okay um I know I have these persons to work out. I know I have this person to do this. Like, not everyone is the right person for everything. Like, you can have different group of friends for different things. And I think that what, what's happened in my first semester, I explored a lot. But most of my strong connections were exchange students. So, obviously, they left. And I was like, After well, now what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. But luckily, I had a really good friendship with my roommate. So then COVID happened. But also, I met people th in classes. Like, that was something that happened. Um, so that's also, you know, 
how you explore that, meeting people in classes. Mm -hmm. Um, And then COVID happened. And it was a whole year of not talking with anyone from here, not being in Anaimo. Not not even with your classmates. Not building Mm -hmm. any relationships or friendships whatsoever. So coming back, you're like, whoa. It, you're wearing the mask and I was doing my minor and there was a lot of academic stress with that like it was like five classes just very intense and I was working um so my life kind of became um academics and work and so would I recommend it I think there's more of a balance with academic work and self-care and socializing mm-hmm. Um, but unfortunately I couldn't find the social aspect. So I had a very strict schedule. Yeah. And I mean, I think it was not only you, everyone had to like adjust to COVID and like social restrictions. Exactly. And I feel like obviously with COVID that kind of aligned better. Culture couch was my main thing to really get to know more people. I loved going and that gave me the opportunity to become a peer Peer helper helper. and peer helper really opened my eyes to more friendships but you know you never know the friendships how they uh, develop and um, unfortunately yeah like you have people who have really good intentions and then other people that necessarily don't and that's okay it as a, again, That's the something idea that of, you need to explore. It's something you explore, but I feel like I see my whole journey here of the friendships and everything, like chapters and like in waves. Like I had this group of friends and then this was my circumstance in life and that aligned perfectly. I changed my circumstance in life and then I have this new group of friends. So mm-hmm. it's like this movement and I just feel like every group of friends is like a chapter in a book. And I'm grateful for all the people that were part in the chapter in my life that I needed their support, I needed that friendship. And once that chapter was over, it ended, a new chapter started, new people, new friendships, everything. And so I see it as a beautiful book that I've been collecting over the five years I've been here. Doesn't necessarily mean I feel like all the time, like I don't feel I'm such an extrovert, but I don't see myself as an introvert. Um, I also think that here, like, I am considered normally an introvert, mm-hmm. but I, our cultures are really different with the cultures yeah. in here. So then people from here or from other countries, they see me like as a really extroverted person. Mm, yeah, but yeah. I feel like in Ecuador, you're people were telling me like, oh, you're introvert because everyone else is like more Way more extrovert. talkative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's something also depending on cultures and how people perceive you. Oh, definitely. Um, Because the long conversations we enjoy, sometimes it might be a bit too much, and that's okay. I I just feel like most of the Canadian friends and why they're so meaningful to me is because I would talk and talk and talk, and they would just appreciate that aspect of me. (laughs) And they would embrace it and ask me more questions. And I think that's something that I've enjoyed of having Canadian friends, those Canadian friends that really supported my cultural and personal identity and that made our friendship stronger Stronger. and that's something I wouldn't change in a million years and so yeah it just depends but I feel like regarding the balance I feel like it's always important to take care of your academics um, but also take care of yourself and that includes socializing them but intentional socializing you know really Mm -hmm. thinking about what am I doing with which group of people am I doing it with and just being intentional of how you spend your time because, yeah, it's important to know if I'm doing a balance of things that I'm getting the best out of everything that I'm doing. Yeah. And, well, I was just saying that you just graduated. How will you compare your very first semester with your last semester? Choices. Uh, Choices. Lots Choices. of choices and decisions have changed. I feel like... Also, a lot of personal growth. (laughs) Obviously, I came here to Canada as a 19-year-old. I was a baby. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was not prepared for a lot of things that I experienced here. Um, I was in the mentality of when I arrived here of I'm taking a break of my reality back home. I needed a break from that reality. And coming here felt like a 
perfect in a way to just be a, as far as possible from that. And just create your new personality. And just build new thing. I, I made um, great friendships. Actually, one of the friendships I first made, I actually just saw her today. And like, that's the things about friendships and first semester when they're truly meaningful. The longer they are, the better it is when you realize how life changes so much. But and people sometimes are still... it's not only that you have to talk every single day exactly. or every minute with a person. Like those friendships are the ones that you know, like they're gonna last forever. Even you, you don't talk to them anytime. Mm -hmm. And then when you talk to them, it feels like nothing has changed. Yeah, I mean, I... you will miss some stuff, but then you just talk and like yeah. catch up onto everything. Exactly. I feel like it's. Um... As I, th I think I told you this before, but I feel like any type of friendship, relationship, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. You make the choice of the effort you put into it, right? If, and it's not like, as you said, chatting, texting, whatever, every day. It's about knowing that if you're in a really bad term or whatever, you're having a bad day, that person is going to be there. But I feel like actions in a friendship also matter because I feel like sometimes people feel like, Oh, it's only when it's a romantic relationship when, like... Actions matter. It's, uh -huh, but mm -hmm. I feel like a friend also, how they treat you, like, that also makes a difference because, mm -hmm. yeah, having a wrong, like, friendship, that can also take a toll on you. And so I feel like my first semester, I was very grateful that I was able to meet people that really made me get out of my comfort zone, but also made me realize, hey, I'm not feeling lonely here because I feel like a big thing about as an international, when you first arise, I don't want to feel lonely. I don't want to feel like I'm all alone yeah. here. Well, you don't have your community here. So any advice for building community here in Canada? You will need to be uncomfortable because no one likes to be the one that's walking into a room and not knowing anyone. It's mm -hmm. obviously uncomfortable. But by being uncomfortable, you find a way to be like, okay, I need to, how do I get comfortable? And that's when you start, you know, getting up out there and just, yeah, finding a way to just connect. And it's, that helps when you know maybe there's people from your country that you're like, oh, you have something in common. Mm -hmm. So finding things that other people might have in common with you. Um, but that's the piece of advice. Try as many things as you can. Um, because that's the first thing. When you first arrive, you're going to meet a lot of people. So text whoever you want, like get to know people, just like do it all. Because at the end, when time goes by, you'll see who really wants really to matters. be your friend and who was just like, you know, a good like acquaintance. That's and that was it. So I feel like it's just try it all. Uh, say hi to whoever says hi to you. And yeah build a strong identity for yourself I feel like that's something important to do because that's the beauty about coming to Canada in a new university people don't know who you are until you introduce yourself so you have the beautiful opportunity to just create this person that you want to be and just build upon that as you meet people. And so you can have just a fresh start of your life. Yeah, it's like a free canvas mm -hmm. and you're just like, okay, you choose how you're going to build it. And mm -hmm. I think that's the beauty of when you meet people because who you surround yourself with obviously makes an impact of who you become. And so that's why introducing yourself in whichever way you wish, that's going to make an impact in who you meet along the way. But that's the beauty. You have the power. Even though you're uncomfortable, you have the power to choose who to be in that room where you don't know anyone. So you can be the most outgoing person and people would never mm -hmm. imagine you were the quietest person back in your country when you're at home. So that's the beauty. That's the power you have. That's true for sure. Yeah. And I just want to take a moment right now to thank you in front of the whole camera for <laughs> all your friendship. And <laughs> yes. uh, you've been a huge support in my Last two years, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we met. I think September. 2022. 20, yeah, August. So, it was August, actually. I was, the, so around next time, week. Next we're week is the two, two years. years of friendship. Two so, years of solid friendship. Thank you for being always there from the ups and down and yeah. for all of it. No, yeah, I feel like what I've told you 
consistently is I've struggled with friendships of how genuine they felt. Um, and meeting you, it was a great reminder of this is what a f- <laughs> healthy <laughs> friendship looks like. And I feel like I'm so grateful because I feel like you really understand all my moods. You really understand my struggles. And specifically, remember when I went through that breakup, you were there in ways that I I could have not done it without that constant support and reassurance and that trying new things mm. and creating those memories. It was a really good summer. <laughs> it was a very intentional and meaningful yeah. summer that we created. So a Personal growth too. Yeah, and I feel like that's something we will always carry as we get older. Mm. Whichever circumstance happens, we will always have those memories as a reference to be like, hey, we already did this, we got, we got this. this. So that's the beautiful thing about a meaningful friendship I would say you know your person is there like you just know it you're just calm about it so it's not like the constant up and down and yeah it's just constant so that that's a bit about yeah do these. you mind sharing any of your most memorable memorable experiences oh my well mm. I loved going to all the karaoke's and singing mm. and just yeah that was very meaningful in the sense of just you enjoying your whole experience of loving to Music. sing and yeah me supporting you and me getting out of my comfort zone I would say and just yeah. creating those memories our traditions I was uh, just looking actually through my phone videos like uh-huh. two days ago and I don't know if you remember this time that we went to karaoke and then this like old lady came to us ah, yeah, and yeah, started yeah. talking to us and you recorded all on video oh yeah yeah, yeah. which my family really appreciate that because i send them the video mm. later and then i'm like oh that was so sweet of her like thank you for filming and it's just like i feel so like nice. that's what a friend supports right when a friend knows what's your dream what you love they support you and when th- that lady approached you i was like this this is gonna be meaningful mm-hmm. danny's gonna look yeah. at these 50 years later and she's gonna be, she's <laughs> gonna be like it. oh my god yeah so i feel like those are the special moments as a friend you want your friend to have and keep and so yeah you're like a little being like an ambassador for your f- friend like you're supporting their dreams you're supporting them as a person and they're I'm like my manager. <laughs> Imagine that would be cool. <laughs> yes, it's just a whole experience with. But that that's the thing with you, the the singing. I feel, but also like all of our trips are just laughing. Oh my god, the simplest thing of just being together and just laughing about X Y Z. And whatever it is get your social energy your social battery and that's the good thing it's, like i feel like that's the friendships where you don't feel drained yeah you just like, oh no vibing. i have to see this friend and or you see this uh-huh. or just mentally like i need to prepare for these and that doesn't happen at all when i'm with you i'm just like oh she's coming okay i'm good I'm like sure. i'm just i'm gonna talk we're gonna laugh like those moments i've realized how meaningful it is when I know I don't have to do much to have a good time and be like fully transparent with you and just know you're going to be there no matter what. Like I know our time together is going to be very simplistic but also just real. So yeah, I never get the doubt of, oh, I need to do this. I need to prepare this. No, it's just like, yeah, just hang it out. And something I think we haven't talked much about is like how we bring our culture to Canada. Like I know you're half Ecuadorian, half Colombian. Mm -hmm. So how would you say you will bring some specific cultural things from there to here? In while forming friendships, yeah. I feel like dance is one of the biggest things. I feel like I love to dance and music back home is so different. And just sharing that dance is a great way to bond with people. You singing, that's also a way I've mm-hmm. seen you bond with people. Whenever you sing at BAU, your Spanish songs, they, I guess it's just cultural and then art and dance i would say that cultural aspect and i think before coming to canada i used to sing more songs only in english because that's what i used Mm. to 
listen before coming here. But now that I'm living here, I started missing my songs because I, I had them all the time, like mm-hmm. on the radio where we were walking, like all the Latino mm-hmm. music. So I chose to listen English songs to practice mm-hmm. my English and everything. But then coming here, I was like, oh, I miss that. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like singing more songs in Spanish have made me get more connected to the culture. Yeah, no, definitely. I feel like also um, you, it's funny how you appreciate your culture even more when you're far away from it. For sure. It's like you don't realize. I feel like you, your culture and everything becomes part of uh Your identity your here, identity a big part yourself. of it. And it's fun because you use that as, yeah, I'm proud of where I'm from. So that's super nice when you build friendships because you build yourself like, yeah, I'm from this part of the world and I'm super and proud of it and I can case. share this. I feel like food also, that's something different, even though we're yeah. like Ecuador and Colombia are complete opposites in food in some cases. We have similar Sometimes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like just you and I sharing certain things with food, like the arepas. When we mm-hmm. did the arepas, you learned how to do arepas, Ooh. and you were like, "This is new to fine. me." So, and when you did the what was the pan and colada morada, which I love, but it's like you share an experience, and it's meaningful. It's it's yeah, intentional. Yeah. I would say again, it's dance. And food, I think, are the two major things I've done here to bring culture in my friendships. Uh, with my Canadian friends, I've tried to... Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy, yeah. But I tried. Even with yeah. Mexicans and, yeah, even with people, yeah. like, we're from Quito. Yeah. One city and then from people... People from Guayaquil. Completely different. That. Yeah, different regions, different types of food. Um, we learn from them, they learn from us, and yeah, we joke with each other. So, I was wondering, do you feel like you've explored more friendships um, with guys while being here, away from home? Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, well, especially when I was in Ecuador, I was in an only girls' school. Yeah. So, everything was like only girls. Like, I never actually mm-hmm. had contacts with boys well I had like uh, some extracurriculars when I was doing like choir or mm-hmm. music but it was just like like one hour a week when I had the choir mm-hmm. and then never actually talking to them because we mm-hmm. were like there to sing and not to like chit chat all the time yeah. and then coming here to Canada that was one of the first kind of cultural shocks like mm-hmm. having classes with guys at the same time <laughs> and <laughs> so funny yeah, yeah. well like In my school, everyone was, like, super, like, okay, we're sitting down, we're, like, listening, mm-hmm. like, everyone had kind of, like, the same way of doing things. Mm-hmm. I don't know, because we were girls, mm-hmm. or, like, how we pay attention. And then, in general, my first semester was really challenging for me to make friends, because I just came here when COVID was in the middle of COVID, like, September 2021. So I came here, and it was... I was taking some second year classes because my first classes, I took them from Ecuador. So it was everything online. No one really turned on their cameras. Mm -hmm. So it was not that you could actually meet people. It was just Zoom and doing your activities. Breaking rooms, like no one really talked. Yeah, uncomfortable socializing. Yeah. So first semester, I didn't meet anyone. Then my second semester... Uh, I bonded with a girl from Germany uh-huh. and the reason that we started talking was because we were the only ones that came that semester like to mm. the university everyone else was like still wearing their mask and like mm. being in their own groups so that was like really challenging to meet people like general boys or girls like in general mm-hmm. it was kind of weird because everyone was like oh we're only talking to like the people we already know mm-hmm. which was understandable because everyone was like still panicking about COVID. And then I remember the next semester, I took a choir. Mm -hmm. And then we were still wearing masks, but it was like kind of talking more to people and like trying to get less weird about like meeting or talking to people that you haven't met before COVID. And then I think after that, I just spent here the summer with two, two friends, like, 
the friend from Japan and、mm. uh, some of her other friends. And then going back to class, and they were like, experience different friendships.、Mm-hmm. It was easier, definitely, on my, let's say, what, fourth semester? Because、mm-hmm. masks were not a thing anymore, and we were doing like, more group works and like, face to face and hands on activities. It was easier that way, and just attending to lots of events. I,、yeah. That's how I started meeting people.、Mm-hmm. And now I think it's normal, but at first it was like really shocking. I started talking、yeah. to guys. Yeah, it's, it's a shift, definitely, I would imagine, because it's, it's different when you're used to certain social cues and certain social expectations, and then when interacting, you know. Yeah. You're like, wow, especially what you mentioned about the COVID and all of those procedures. Obviously, socializing became very、really、different.、Hard. And I feel like、um, right now, people appreciate more the fact of what it means to see friends, family on a regular basis because you never know when you won't have that. So I feel like something I appreciate from our community, because obviously we've built that community, is like, Being mindful that it's going to be hard. There's、yeah. going to be days where we're going to feel lonely. There's going to be days where we're going to feel homesick. There's days we're going to try to give up because no、I、one said、tired. migrating、mm. is easy. Like, immigration is not easy. So,、mm-hmm. um, I feel like the beauty of what we've built over these years, months, is how we see each other as a safe place to just talk about our problems, talk about our worries, talking about our concerns, talk about if we are going through something with someone we met here,、yep. romantic wise or just. Co work or whatever. I feel like having that community really has personally helped me a lot to be like, okay, I'll see my friends at the end of the day or whatever. Because what happens, and I've realized after graduating, a lot of people after graduating, they move. Yeah. So my Canadian fellows that were super close to me, well, they went back to their hometowns, everything. And, you know, it's kind of like, oh, bummer, because The cool thing about that is that they share with you the knowledge that we lack、mm-hmm. from Canada and like regarding where to go, which places are good for what. Like, they have a bunch、yeah. of knowledge that I appreciate they share with me because I'm like, oh, wait, so this place is best for these, and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like it's like a balance. If we talk about balance,、mm-hmm. I feel like friendships, you know, it has to be a bit of everything, like in life. You need to have a bit of everything, little percentages for everything. So I feel like having my. Friends from Canada helped me get to know the area better, landscape wise, or yeah, surroundings, if you want to call it. And then, man, Latinos was my way to connect with myself and, and feel、thoughts. safe. Yeah. So it's very purposeful, but friendships, I guess, they are that. So they are meant to enrich you, they're meant to guide you, they're meant to add to you. Um, and in your life. And I feel like the moment they don't, that's when you need to reconsider if this friendship is worth continuing、sure. or not. And I feel like, with all I've mentioned about the friendships coming and going, I feel like that's what you do.、Um, and you move past people. You, yeah, people take their distance. But I will, that's the one thing people never for, will forget how you make them feel.、Yeah. And that's very true.、Yeah. I remember this German student, she came for exchange. I helped her out so much. And until today, she keeps on saying, How are you? So I feel like it's those little things that make a difference.、Mm-hmm. She went to, throughout the semester and met more Germans, and that became her safe place because obviously we feel safer when we can speak the same the language, same when we have the culture, because that's natural. And also with the Latino co- community that we have built, we are each from different countries, but in general, we have like A lot of similarities in our culture. I feel personality was where we understand. Like, we, we balance each other out. We, like,、yeah. each one of us brings <laughs> something to the table that just makes us work pretty well. Yes. And I feel like, with, regardless of what happens, I know that 
when if I stay where I live, Canada, well, I will remember is that these people that mm-hmm. I've met here and the experience, right? Like, I feel like all the, I get a bit emotional because it's like, oh my mm-hmm. God, all these years is like, you think about it, like, yeah, you, you did the career, you graduated, great. But it's like, it wouldn't have been the same without the people being part of the journey, right? Like, it wouldn't have yeah. been the same without meeting you, I feel like it would not have been the same. Uh, and I feel like something that motivates you to stay in here, in Canada in general, because... It's the friendship that you It's the people. Here. It's not mm-hmm. the where's the whom. And it's totally 100% that. Well, it's the connections that you made with your careers, with the friends, your community, your adult life now. Yeah. Because... Adulting mm-hmm. and friendships is very interesting. There's a lot of maturity and you realize how people change a lot. And I feel like we've seen that in multiple people. We've seen people who start here and are so in Mm -hmm. our community that are like, what? (laughs) Crazy about things, exploring things. And then they're like, well. Well, it also depends if they are coming here to do like the full career or just like one semester where they just want to explore the island or just explore yeah, friendships yeah. and then go back because they know there will be like that small opportunity of being yeah independent or because that's like, a beauty that's also something different from our culture then we never leave our parents like when we're in university we still uh, we're be, there. Yeah, 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 with yeah, our yeah. parents yeah and i feel like that's the thing why we rely more in our friends because our parents our families are not here yeah. we rely more on each other in each other in sense of like Dude, if I have a problem, you're coming because I, my I have parents no one else cannot to come. be They here. cannot fly. And, and I feel like that's the yeah. beauty about when you build friendships outside of your bubble. Because back home, you're in a, in a bubble where you're comfortable. You're not... When you know if something goes wrong, you all have always have your family. But here, you know that... Your friends become, friends the, become your chosen your choice family. family. That's yes. the thing. It's a chosen family that you're like, well, this is what I'm going for. And I feel like that's why it's... It's cool to create and have plans that are like a little bit of this, a bit of party, but a bit of let's go learn something, let's go outdoors, let's do something artistic, let's do something sporty or, you know, I feel like that's the beauty about having a consistent group of friends that you can try so many things that it becomes so memorable and it's such a great way to build community because seasons here change, right? So it's nice to be able to create those memories of this season what are we doing oh the next season what are we doing because that just builds community and I feel like I appreciate every single friend that we've had here but out of all of them I totally have a gratitude towards you because Mm. it's been quite you know some people just get each other Mm. and I feel like that's the beauty about when you have that one person you're like I really just know this person gets me in a way that maybe others don't and that's okay it doesn't mean the other friendships are not Not valuable or not yeah meaningful enough it's just that's how sometimes it happens and I feel like I am so grateful for that for you because it's something that has really made an impact in my life and I've realized how much I've grown and how much now I see friendships as something that they can turn out very positive and yeah I, I know it's about just put in the effort, but also mm-hmm. knowing that it's not like your friend has to always be there. And, you know, the things sometimes yeah. we get in our heads about mm-hmm. is just knowing, hey, I got you. Whenever you need me, I'm here. And just building that, being that reciprocal. Being re- yeah, re- reciprocal. Reciprocate. Just being uh-huh. reciprocal in all aspects because that's just life in general. If you want to build a connection with someone, it's not about just give, give, give and not receiving. Not receiving. It's, it's, both it's a always. balance. And yeah. I feel like that's with whoever you want to build a connection with. So, yeah. yeah. For sure. And thank you so much for coming. I <laughs> had so much fun listening to you. Because no, you love you. talking. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate you helping me in this new journey, mm-hmm. doing this podcast. It's the first time I'm doing this kind of stuff yeah that's exciting so yeah thank you so much and thank you everyone for tuning into the navigator podcast don't forget to follow all of our social medias and look through our website thenav.ca and thank you once again gracias thank you that's a wrap bye bye
see you later.